<laughs> so there's this girl. I forgot her name. But she made this little tiny little blog um about feminism. And I did say, oh, I'm going to make a video response to that, you know. Uh, I was looking around Feminist Frequency. She was trying to little promote this little blog. And all I got to say is, God damn it. I just had to make a video response on how stupid it is. Because I guess I'm a sucker for punishment. Hell, she invited her friends to make fun of me. Well, <laughs> I invite your friends to come over here on YouTube, and I dare you to prove me wrong. I fucking dare you. So, let's begin. Let's clear things up. Please read blog so more people can see this. It is important. Today I will be reading some posts from Women Against Feminism and I got shocked at the horrifying and mistaken things they were saying about feminism. So I'm going to clear things all up so you can understand what feminism is really is all about and what we're fighting for. We fight for equal rights. In Women Against Feminism, the author of the blog says that equal rights exist right now. Feminists are the only people who lose their minds with rage when you tell them that women already have the same exact rights as men. That's not good enough. They want more. They desperately want to be victims. They want a privileged social position. Funny, because I actually agree with this person. Seriously, I have seen... You know, I've seen many videos made by feminists and they use the exact same argument over and over again, such as you are a feminist if you support equality, uh, the wage gap argument. Um, there's a lot more, but I'm just going to stick with those two. Uh, and yet, you know, there are certain feminists that even go as far as to ignore uh, the, men, the needs of men, such as... Um, What's gonna call it? Don't you recall that um, men have to go to war? They they get they have to be drafted to war, but not women. Uh, men have to pay for child support. Let's see what else. Men have to spend more prison time than women for doing the exact same crime. This is not something I pull out of my ass. This is facts right here. Equal rights do not exist. Why? Because a large number of women are not taken seriously when it comes to jobs, are fired when they're expecting a baby, or are not hired at all because they could possibly have one in the future. Because women, because when a woman goes out of her home, she has a 90% of being a victim of catcalling because women are still considered inferior to men, because in other countries women are not allowed to do things that we are considered natural, for example, driving a car, and because in Asia little girls are thrown in the streets because, as I said before, they are considered inferior to men. Okay, let me address the first one. Uh, because a large number of women are not taken seriously when it comes to jobs. Um... That only depends on a certain type of job, because if it, if there's a job that requires loads of heavy lifting, chances are you're not going to be, you know, uh, chances are they're not going to take you, because, again, me, it, this, this is not some sort of sexist bullshit. This is facts. Men are capable of he doing more heavy lifting than women. I'm sorry, but it's true. And plus, men are more likely to die at the workplace than women. So if you're going to do something very dangerous, you better prepare yourself for the dangerous work. Now, as for expecting a baby, this is for your own safety and because, you know, having a baby in your belly isn't necessarily uh, an advantage. It's more of a disadvantage. So it's more for your safety and the safety of others rather than some sexist bullshit. The second part about the catcalling. 
that's fucking bullshit. 90% of women are gonna be catcalled. I find that really hard to believe. Maybe like about 5% of women or even 10, I might believe 10, but 90 fucking percent? Do you think that, you know, pretty much every man in the fucking world just looks at a pretty woman and go, Ooga, Ooga. I, don't, I don't do that shit. And even if I did, it would probably be like maybe once or uh, twice a year. Hell. Even if 90% of women do get catcalled, it's not like it's an everyday fucking thing unless you're some sort of celebrity, because then that would make sense. That you're going to be catcalled. But... <clears throat> 90 fucking percent of women get catcalled? Like, what, once a year, what, twice, three times? How the fuck did I, oh my fucking god, my fucking goddamn brain. Oh. Third part, because men and uh, women are inferior to men. I don't know where you get that idea. I mean, I just don't. Unless you live in, you know, in third world countries like Islam, you would actually have a point, but I don't see you as inferior to men. Although I see your, you know, your brain capacity isn't necessarily superior of that of an everyday man. As for the fourth and fifth part, Yes, I will not deny the fact that these events are tragic, but I don't think feminism is the answer. The next part is basically her showing a few tweets towards everyday sexism. If I could find the guy, I will link in the description. And, you know, while some of these tweets are a bit disturbing to see there are other tweets out there that just look stupid but i will say this again feminism is not the fucking answer now the next part is basically her repeating the exact same argument um she uh finds a tweet i mean not a tweet a quote made by someone, and she goes on saying, this is not feminism, I don't know where you get that idea, and blah, 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 this is feminism, that's feminism, this is not feminism, that's not feminism, that's not feminism, this is feminism, this is not feminism, that's not feminism, that's feminism, and yet provide no actual evidence that feminists actually do that shit. But yet, whenever... We, you know, we see a feminist talk about equality. We see acts like this. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself. You're fucking scum. You are fucking scum. Fucking rape apologist, incest supporting, woman hating, fucking scum. Is there someone else that can wait to see Scum. Yeah, just no, another. I just, I just want to listen to someone else's opinion. I'm not even on a side here. I just listen to as many people as I can. You know what, though? Why would you pay money to fucking support a fucking rape apologist if you weren't fucking one? I never heard of saying that. Well, it's fucking scum. Over professional goals, How? thus minimizing their earning potential and their traditional marriages and the assumption <laughs> I'm reading fucking face to the camera. camera. I'm trying to fucking I'm letting everybody else hear it, okay? Not just for you, Mr. Entitled. <laughs> the assumption I this guy! Very good, you can yell. How about we talk rationally? Why, why do we have to get off the campus? What are you so afraid of? Why, you know, what are you so afraid of in the I'm discourse? Here. I belong. You're asking us that question. I helped build this university. So you're afraid of questions? We're afraid of fucking fascists! We're afraid of you guys. Really? So feminism having the only dis only narrative is not fascist? Uh, 
these two lovely bearded gentlemen were sitting around making jokes with one another, nerdy jokes. These jokes were about forking repos in a sexual way and big dongles. Forking repos and big dongles? That's PG shit, okay? It's, it's dirty in the cleanest way possible. It's like a cutesy sort of dirtiness. Now, 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
you said that society tells them that they need a boy to have sex with or something like that. But I don't see it. Where, where the fuck do, do, do society says you have to have sex with a boy in order to, you know, look cool or look popular or whatever. Where exactly? Where, 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 where? Show me a magazine. Show me anything, any links at all. I'll be happy to debunk that fucking shit. I would love to. Tell me. No links? Okay. Fuck it. And I think that story may have been a bit exaggerated because, you know, chances are that if you're going to go to a party, you're going to see booze. And, well, you know... You know what booze does to one person. You know, it makes you drunk. You do stuff against your wills. There's a good chance that the person may have been drunk. Didn't think of that, did you? So, the person chose to have sex. Regardless on what he had to say, she she chose to have sex. You just you just don't want to blame yourself for having sex, so you want to put the blame on something else, whatever it's the boy's fault or society's fault. You want to play the blame game, but you don't want to blame yourself. How mature! I am the Atheist Gamer. Follow me on Twitter. Peace. The game out.